Good morning everyone, this is Tabitha and I am wanting to show you guys how to make a um, altered little ticket booklet and here's one of them that I did in some uh, shades of pinks aren't they the cutest? Look at that they're just so cute, they're adorable but um, you just go, you use these little tickets right here and you make a little booklet, you put your little um, pockets in there and you put your little littles your little tags your little uh what other little ephemera you want to use and you just decorate it up like you would a little book i just think that they're just adorable adorable but anyway i want to show you guys the um process on how i went about making mine and then you put your little spin on it and you make you some okay now like I said, you're going to need you some tickets. And you can get these tickets like this at Walmart. You can get them on a row. You can buy them off of Amazon on a row. Um, you can also, uh, you know, Etsy <clears throat> and some other sellers. They will, um, you know, sell them by so many in a little bag or whatever. But anyway, you need double, you need the double type tickets. And um, this one here was a red and it still is red but it's a little distressed now and the way that i got that distressed look is i took some bleach and i sprayed on it and then i took my heat gun and i zapped it and that kind of faded it you know to the distressed look and also i've got did um this little set of tickets i did they were the blue and i distressed them out because i didn't want the blue 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 so they're more like a teal blue right now and um anyway they're really cute i just love playing with tickets okay so what you're going to need you're going to uh, need your tickets and you need four so one two three four like that so i'm going to set this right here aside because i'm going to want to work i'm going to do the red today and let me move these out of my way get those up out of my way now um the first thing you're going to do is um you need to, you know, ink around your edges and everything if that's what you're, the look you're going after. Um, you can ink around them. So I am going to get my ink dauber and I am going to ink around them just to kind of give it that little vintagey kind of look, I guess. So I'm going to go around it and ink it. these make the perfect little uh, addition to a journal to put in a bag or you know just to give I, I love these things um, so I'm just gonna I'm just putting some ink here and there you know don't have to be whatever it just depends on the color of your ticket too I, I suppose you can't really see it that well on this uh, red but I can see it enough so I've just you know inked it up a little bit now the next part i want to do is um i like to put some little stamping on it so i'm going to uh, add some little stamps and i want script stamp so i'm going to get my ink out and i'm going to get my little uh, my little script stamper can't find my other one that i like using but this one will work so let me put some ink on it and then i'm just going to stamp it wherever I want to put a stamp you don't have to use script stamp you can use any kind of stamp that you want to use or you don't even have to put stamps guys I just like the look of it I really do and I'm just going to go through here and do each of them so that way they all have something on it and um, I'm focusing more so up at the top part because the bottom part of mine I will have Oh, excuse me. I will have some pockets. So, there we go. We've got that on there. <clears throat> so now, when you close your little booklet, that's going to be the inside of your book right there. All right? And then this is your back side. So, you don't have to do this next step at all. You can, um, you know, just leave it like that. But I'm going to start with my ticket part where it says the tickets. That's going to be my back side. And I am going to take a piece of lace and I'm going to put put it across there or put some sorry silk or um, oh seam binding across it. And I'm going to go ahead and get me some seam binding on this one. 
and that is what I'm going to use. So let me grab a piece of it, and I think I'm going to go with this color right here. This light pink. Oops, I hit you. Sorry about that. Uh, I think I'm going to go with this green. Yeah, we're going to go with the green. I've already got it crinkly. So we'll do with the we'll do the green. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glue right down the middle. And I'm going to glue my little, um, I'm going to glue it on there. I don't need it to, I just want a little bit of it hanging off the edge. So I'm going to, I'm going to start this way. That way I don't waste it all. But let me get some glue and put, put a little strip of glue. Well, I'm clogged up. Where's my little pen? Let me find a pen. Okay, I got it. Now let's put some glue on it. I'm just going to go through there and put a little strip of glue. Right across it. And then that's going to put my seam binding on. And I'm going to take my seam binding. I'm going to lay it on there. Make sure I got enough hanging off on that one side. It's got a stick. <laughs> I should probably have used fabric tack, but I didn't. And then I'm going to cut a little piece off here. That way it'll go in with that. Because I don't need all of this right here for now. So I'm just going to set that aside. <clears throat> now I've got got my little ribbon on the back and you can stop right here and start decorating it and you can have it to where it fan folds out and you can have you know every side of the ticket you can have it decorated um, but I'm wanting mine more so like a little book so in this tutorial I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to uh, glue this part right here to form my little book like that um, but the first thing I'm going to do is on this side here on the inside I'm going to put me down some washi tape and the reason I'm going to put the washi tape is because you're going to be doing a lot of folding the pages you know in and out so I want to um, secure the little the little seams you know so they don't You know fall apart on me so I need three big those three strips of something whatever it is if you're using paper uh, handmade washi tape washi tape tape however whatever it is you want to do and I got my little strips down and I need my um, glue stick because washi tape don't like to stick very well so I'm going to take my little glue and glue these down and then I will go back and I will trim them up then I go back and trim them up okay oops get this one down Okay, now I'm going to go trim them up. See where the tape's sticking out? I'm just going to trim that up. some on this side maybe I'll do that then it's gonna go over my little thing so nah I won't I got the ribbon pretty much there I'm gonna get those down in the little grooves I tell you what let's pull up our we should have done the back side of the tape first but I'm just gonna I will reuse that little strip so before you put your little strip down on the back, go on and put your washi tape on. 
I did that a little bit backwards there. I need it to have that on there too. So, anyway, let's put that on there. My, I need some new glue. My, trying to use all that I can out of that one. Trying to get it all that I can get out of that thing. But this way, we'll have these down too. And then we'll go put our uh, seam binding back on it. Because I should have done that first. But I didn't. Let's see that. Okay. Let me go cut those off. And then we'll go sew that back on there. Or, yeah. We will go glue that back on there. So let's get us some more tacky glue here. Go right back down the middle. Right back down the middle with it. And let's add it back on there. Now let's put it back on there. Never know that it was taken off. <laughs> so we got that on there. Okay. And what that tape does, it, it, it keeps it from the little tickets ripping off, you know, where they're got the perforated, you know, ends on it. And then I'm just going to go fold my ticket book the way that it's going to go. Just like that. And I am going to glue this middle piece. Whoops. I don't want it all to stick together there. I'm going to glue the little inside of this M together. That way it forms my little ticket book. Like I said, you don't have to. You can stop right here at this step. You can, you don't have to put this little ribbon down it. You can go ahead and just start decorating each side of your tickets. Fan fold them together and tie a great big bow around it. And then call it done. But I'm wanting to put mine like a little book. So this is why I, I want my little strips here. Because um, at the end of mine, I like to take and I put a little um, dangle right here. And I just like that. But anyway, so... You've got that. Now we've got to glue this inside part here to form our little book. So with that being said, I'm just going to grab some hot glue for the video purposes here. Just to make it go, you know, so things are drying a little faster. So I'm just going to put me some hot glue on here. And... That way it, it dries pretty good on me and I just smash it down really good. But if I was just doing it, I wouldn't be using hot glue. I'd use my normal Fabri-Tac, but it'll dry faster for the video. <laughs> okay, so there we go. We got our little uh, booklet now. Let me get this right here in this middle here is not done. I'll go ahead and just squirt some glue down in it. Right here on the seam. Squirt some of that down. Okay. So we got that. And got that. And got that. Okay. So there we go. Now we got our little book form. See it? Now what I'm wanting to do is I need to put some little pockets because I want pockets on each of my little pages. So I want to put a pocket. That way I can stuff them. You know, put some little little uh, little tags, little ephemera, and little things I can stick down in there. So I am going to get me out um, some more tickets to go with it. The color that I'm going or I can make my own. Whichever you want to do there, but I'm just going to go ahead and glue some tickets down for my pockets. Keeping it ticket themed. So, glue a ticket 
here for a pocket. And then I'm going to do the one on this side for a pocket. Make sure I'm going the right way here. Put my little pocket here. Open it up. Now I'm going to need a pocket on this side. Make sure it shuts or flips the page. Now I need a pocket here and a pocket here. So let me grab some more red tickets. Oh, I got some. I bought a great big row at Walmart. So let me get some more tickets. And let's glue this down. that little ticket one down and then let's grab this one and glue it down and you don't even have to put pockets it's just I want pockets on mine so you do it the way you want to do it however it is you want to decorate this is just how I'm doing it okay so we got my little I've got my little pockets down now now I need to go back and decorate. And um, I think I want to put some of this on this first page. I'm, I don't do my cover um, until last because I do that even on when I'm making a regular uh, journal. I wait to the end to do my cover because that helps me as I'm going what I know I'm going to, you know. It just helps me have an idea of what I want to put for the cover. But anyway, I'm going to start with the first page. And I've got some of this uh, rolled ruffle stuff that I made. And I'm wanting to use it. And I'm going to put it on. Put one on right here. And that's going to cover that pocket for me. So that will cover my pocket. I think I need to get that tape off of there. Huh. Yep. So. There we go. I got this, and I'm just going to glue this down. It's already sewed, because I like doing the sewing on my stuff. And um, I'm going to glue this down first, right here. So I'm just going to use some hot glue. Use some hot glue on it, and I'm going to stitch it down. I like the threads, of course. But there's that. Make sure my little pocket's still working. I don't want that hot glue to go through and glue me down. Okay, it's working. It's working. I still got a little pocket. Okay, so <coughs> <coughs> I got that. Now I want to make me a little bow. Um, let me see here. I need a little bow. What kind of little bow can I use? I think I got one over here that I'm going to use. Let me find it. There's one. I think I'm going to put a little bow here. Right there. And we'll stick it this way so it kind of comes off the corner of the page. Kind of like everything hanging out of the little book. So there's that. And then, um, let me get a little stamp or a little something or another to put on it. And I think I'll use um, this right here. And I'll put it, you know, right there. And then that, my, that little pocket will be done. Okay. So, let me get some hot glue on it. Put that right there. And put a little bit of glue on this. And we'll stick that right in here. There we go. So that pocket's done. They don't really take long to decorate up, you know. Make sure I've got that pocket's not glued down. Wouldn't that be something? Okay, it's not glued down. 
okay and on the next one I think I'm going to um, put a little piece of this one lace across the bottom and I got a little cluster here that I'm going to use that right there it's just got a little doily and some eyelash trim and stuff like that so I think I'm going to put this down right here more glue some glue straight across there I put this down so there's that and then let me add this we will put it like right here on the corner that way it kind of shows uh, the ticket pocket okay plus that's hanging off kind of giving us a little extra so we got that now what I want to do on this one Hmm, what do I want to do on this next one? This next one, I think I've got, um, what do I want to put? I'm going to use this right here and put it, you know, right here on this side. And it's got a little envelope, and whenever you open it up, it folds down to right on. Isn't that cute? So that's another little cluster that I did. So I'm going to put that on there. Have it to where it's coming over. Cute. Cuteness. Cuteness. I like it. And let's see what else I can do here. What else can I do? Uh, I'm trying to think here, guys. Let's see. I'm going to use this piece here. I think I'm going to use this. Another little cluster I did. It's got some little, um, oh, little trim, little beaded trim on it. So I think I'm going to use that. But I needed to, should I use this lace? No. Or should I use, yeah, let's see. I think I'm just going to do it on there just like this, but I need to have something hanging off here. So I think I'm going to put this down. So we're going to put this down first, this little piece of lace. I'm going to do that first. That way it hangs out of the bottom of my book. Then I'm going to go back and put this on. So now let me put this on. Ta-da! Yeah, cute, cute, cute. There's another little bow hanging out of the bottom. Okay, and uh, all of our pockets are now done. Pockets are now done. So now, before I do the inside, I want to do my cover. And on my cover, I think that I am wanting to use um, some of this one trim I got over here. If I could get this all off, I would just reuse this off the book because my video had stopped because I tried to do, do it before ah, and it's going to work for me I do believe so let me let me get this off of here and I will use this as my cover because this is what I, I like doing it anyway okay so here's going to be my cover another little cluster and I'm just going to put it right over on top of it like that cute cute I like it I like it a lot and I'm just gonna put me some more glue on it ouch glue is hot Ooh hot glue so let me put this down on it and there we go so there's our little book right there now we just gotta go put some stuff in it isn't it cute right there you're using little clusters that you have made up and do it do it up so there's there's our book part right there now let's just go back and put some stuff in it so i've got this i got a little ticket there that says believe and i've got this little uh ticket or a little tag i will put there what else do i got that i can add in there let's see what else i got 
Here's this one. I got a pitcher. Vintage pitchers. I just love vintage pitchers. And then I will put this little tag in there. And you can put anything in there that you want to put in there, guys. You don't have to put what I'm putting. Put do it and do it for you. Add your little littles in there. What you want to put. I'm just showing you what you could put. And then here, uh, let's see what I got. Do I got something else? Yeah. I got this stuff right here. I got this one here. I put this tag over here. And I put this little eye chart. And another little vintage photo right there. And on this one, I will put some cross crosswords. I put a little bee that I ripped off of a bingo card. I will put another little vintage picture. And um, I think that's all I'm going to put. So there we go. There is our book. And now you can go and um, add your little dangle. Remember I told you I like to put a dangle on it? I've got a little uh, book page dangle that I do. That I wire wrap and everything and make out of a book page and I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it right here on this little piece that we you know had left over hanging off my little book page dangle is going to go right there on it I have the worst time with ball pins latch there it goes <laughs> okay so there there it is is that not the cutest little thing ever I just love it and you've got a little uh, a little ticket book. Now you can take a piece of um, sari silk or ribbon or whatever you want your choice. And if you didn't make the little booklet, or even if you you did, just uh, let's just say my finishing touch, I want to tie a little bow around it it's before I give it off in my book or whatever. But now you got a, a pretty little vintagey bow on it, you know? And that that's and that's a, just the cutest thing ever cutest thing ever perfect for a little gift or to add to your uh, journal or you know whatever but anyway guys there it is and I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that it inspired some of you and I can't wait to see um, the creations that you come up with but this is just a general idea of what you can do use anything you know you want to use you make it you but that's is just how I constructed it and what I just whipped together really quick. So anyway, again, guys, happy crafting.